This video is brought to you by Artistworks. Artistworks are part of TrueFire Studios and they offer direct access to master musicians through their innovative online learning platform. Partnering with iconic musicians, they've crafted decades of industry experience into guided paths of online lessons. Crucially, there's an option to get personal feedback tailored specific to your playing via their unique video exchange. Get direct guidance towards your playing goals. You can use the code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of Artistworks courses. So right off the bat with this thing, a couple of negatives that I'd have to mention. Uh, first of all, it's mono, not stereo. Second of all, even with this level up full, uh, basically you don't get really over the top. You've always got a bit of dry signal in there unless you kill the dry, in which case it would be all reverb. So up full is like 50% kind of blend so it can still be not necessarily one for kind of extreme extreme reverb tones if you're into like super ambient stuff I think it's plenty for most applications but um, you know maybe if, if you were really into some really washy stuff um, this is quite a cool thing that Fender have put out a patent for basically you pull this little compartment open it's got like a spring-loaded thing don't know whether that would break eventually. Sort of seemed to me that the size and the look of these pedals were 
kind of take it a bit of a nod towards Strymon in some ways. Um, they've also brought out some other pedals which kind of are similar to Strymon as well. They've got delays, they've got a tremolo with a reverb. Um, so I kind of feel like that was maybe what they were angling for, like a premium looking pedal um, that is slightly more reasonably priced. I think they're around 125 or something like that new. Not too bad. I think alternatives that you might look at a Boss RV6 could probably do most of what this could do, maybe a little more. Um, the Walrus Audio slows, what I'll do a comparison with at the end. Um, and of course, Strymon themselves, I think probably one of the kind of top money is no object kind of reverb pedals that you can still get. Um, let me know your favorites in the comments. I've been interested in these pedals for a little while and uh, on Father's Day, my wife actually showed me that she'd bought me one of these little things. So she knows that I'm very into reverb. Now, this is the Marine Layer Reverb. If there's one negative thing to this that I know off of the bat, is that it's a mono reverb pedal, uh, which is probably fine, you know, if you're going out and gigging the thing. Um, but home in the studio, I'd prefer to have a stereo reverb. I think it's just a, it's a thing that really works much better when you're going direct and stuff like that. So, this is apparently a versatile, easy to use and richly featured digital reverb. Features six high quality reverb models with advanced features such as a dry kill switch, which is up here, uh, for use with amplifiers with parallel effects, loops, a nice feature actually. Marine Layer also offers buffered bypass operation in which the foot switch allows reverb tails to fade out naturally when the pedal is turned off. Okay, so let's just go through the features then. I guess we'll, we'll start off in hall mode as that's probably the most obvious place to start uh, when you turn it on you get this nice kind of dual light so what have we got reverb time this control adjusts the reverb to k time or length of the reverb signal uh, okay so to left more small room and ambient sounds and then huge spaces in ethereal drones to the right so let's start off smaller i'm going to set the mix a little bit higher than we would I'm going to set the delay down low. So this is pre-delay, uh, adds on an adjustable amount of delay before the reverb decay, obviously. Um, okay. And the level controls how much reverb is mixing with the dry signal. Fully clockwise position. Okay, we could then get about 50-50. Okay, and then damping. Affects the de decay of the reverb signal. When fully counterclockwise, reverb gets darker as it fades. Then the opposite. So this will be darker styles and then more metallic stuff. Okay, I'm going to guess we're going to notice more of that as we turn it up, so... Okay, we've got a filter switch. The filter switch decreases treble frequencies in the reverb signal and can make any setting sound warmer and less obtrusive. So I'm going to get rid of that for now. Let's just turn the filter off so we should get the most metallic. So this first hall reverb is a versatile large space for anything from an always on effect to an expansive pad behind chords and swells. So let's just...
Variation 2. A brighter, resonant effect that evokes one of the early studio tricks for emulating acoustic spaces, plate reverb. So, hall variation 2 is a bit more plate-ish. Okay, let's just listen again. Okay, then we've got two rooms. We've got a room reverb that ranges from a conference room to a large studio tracking space, and then variation two, uh, a small sparse ambience. Try turning the pre-delay and level up, and the reverb time down for an old school 50 sound. So let's just try that. So room, uh, delay up, reverb time down. So definitely quite distinct differences between the room and the hall. Then special uh, octave up, pitch shifter and delay after a reverb. So this is a shimmer then, special, let's just listen. This sounds more like Variation 2, a huge modulated reverb that can feel like a dreamy cloud under and around your guitar. And this then might be the shimmer. I mean, I'm not hearing a shimmer on either of those options. So a good range of reverb sounds, I don't think any of it's necessarily blowing me away, uh, I 
don't necessarily think it's getting us in that kind of Strymon level of quality either. Let me know in the comments if you've got one, if, if you disagree with that. But I'd say not bad at all, a shame there's not a stereo option but in general seems to do a bunch of things that some folks might find useful and a fairly reasonable price. Let me know if you, you've dug one, if you've got one and you use it. Uh, let me know if you tried one and thought that's not anything too fancy. It's nice it's got these LEDs. This is one of my favourite alternatives here so I'll just show you. maybe not quite as versatile in some ways but you've got more tweakability over some of the modulation and stuff I think also smaller on your board slow I think is a fairly decent alternative to the marine layer if you're looking for something like this that is also mono only uh, some cool kind of these big kind of ambient tones let me know your thoughts if you've got favorite options for these kind of pedals i think strymon would be a really obvious choice as well if i had any of them here <laughs> 